Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Lordran. So, I restarted my little... Okay, I think actually, let me move this a little bit farther because otherwise it's gonna pop like crazy. Um, I restarted my kind of uh, mod software and it transported me to level 7, which is currently the Firelink Altar. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, is making me slightly suspicious. Slightly suspicious <laughs> that this might be over in like five minutes. Uh, because are we at the end of the game? I've done... How many runs have I done? I think this is the third full run. Which is interesting. Listen. What can I do? <laughs> the head. Naisu. Hey. Give me the treasure. Fuck. Whatever. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with it. Go with the flow. But this might be a very, very, very short episode. Which is gonna make things interesting, to say the least. Make things interesting in the fact that... Well, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get that sweet double ad money if I can't make the video over 10 minutes? I'm only kidding. The worst thing I've seen, this is a trend, some YouTubers do it, where uh, they actually put like nothing, so just like a countdown or just like a black screen at the end of their videos so that it can be over 10 minutes to get the double ad. If you don't know how YouTube works is uh, you can only put an ad at the beginning for videos under 10 minutes and you can put one like they, you can put them throughout the video if they're over 10. Let me just try something. Can you actually listen? Can you actually put a bonfire and fire link shrine? I might as well put one here. I mean this hollow is not gonna be too much of an issue even if I like hit this bitch up so what I actually want to do is kindle it's not like we can trade stuff for moats anyways like actually we could we could get one but I don't think it matters Christ combustion? Excellent. Well, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen, but who knows. It's Christ actually, but... You know, I'm, I'm trying to be funny here. Listen, just, you gotta give me some leeway. Uh, I gotta check how many times I've died. I've died three times. Um, I'm gonna be 100% with you. This boy ain't going into the abyss, that's for sure. Oh, it's not Gwyn. Call's trust. Call. Mr. Call. I don't think we've had Call's trust before. Okay, so it it is possible that you can just get the kill of the first flame uh, normally. As an area. So, maybe, maybe, just maybe, this ain't the end. God, this guy is so easy. Seriously? What a bitch. Heart of Saint Jude? What? <laughs> huh? I was worried for a second. What the hell? Heart of St. Jude? Where is that thing? Burning flame at the heart of all camaraderie. It is said that by sh staring into the flames, one may glimpse a future where no one ever need to be al needs to be alone. Unleash it to permanently increase enemy difficulty. Holy shit. That's an interesting choice. I might as well try this. No reason not to. I mean... 
We had the <laughs> it's Dark Lobos again. Okay. I can take on Dark Lobos. I've taken on Dark Lobos with a weaker build before. So sorry Dark Lobos. God, perspective is so screwed up. In this area. It's so disorienting. Glad they decided that this type of area design was not the best idea. I mean... What I did there was 100% useless because we're at the end of the game. I did get like a sweet axe. Which I want to try out. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Doesn't deal as much damage as I thought, but man, this thing would be good. And it has the fucking R2 as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's the um, attack of the Painting Guardian Sword, right? I think so. We immediately became naked. Gotta check the time. Check the timer here. All right, cool. I think I've been going for like five minutes. Thereabouts. Cool. So that was not the end, which begs the question. You know, does this game even have a traditional end? Uh, we're gonna get two. What should we go for? The cleric worked out fairly well. I can't really complain about the cleric. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go for. Make sure to tune this bitch as well. <laughs> Which I cannot believe that you started with insufficient stats. Motherfuck. That's what I wanted. Cool, cool, cool. You can't do anything with her. Alright, well... There's nothing else to do but continue. And again, back to what I was saying, I don't know if this game has like a traditional ending or not, but how I'm taking this, and I've said this several times before, is I'm having fun with this run or this playthrough, so I'm going to keep playing until I keep having fun. What the hell? This is like... Gonna be a worse place to fight this dude. The question is, is it gonna drop down here? I don't think he is. There's a pig there too. Loud as fuck as well. Hey yo, that's what I was trying. Luckily, I have a suitable weapon. All I need to do is get damage destored, because that shit is pretty good. Okay, so we could clear out the area fairly quickly by going here. But I think since this is area one, it might be worth going for an explore. This is my chance to like boost my HP and all that, I guess. Something around there. 
That's kind of the logic. I think I'm going to put my bonfireito. Hmm, fuck it, let's put it right here. Because you can also exit this area the other way, but I think here here is okay. Still prefer to fight the boss if possible. But before we do anything, let's get Tema stored. Truly the spell of spells. It's actually really good. Um, well, you know, it has the same advantage as any cleric build has always had, which is just you have free heals. Is that? Oh, that's the abyss. Tome of Attunement. It's 100% useless because I never seem to get spells. Like, spells don't seem to be a viable, like, strat to me. Maybe I'm just stupid, but from what I've noticed, you don't actually get spells frequently enough for it to warrant investing in it still. No reason not to use this. I think attunement does increase casting speed, right? Fuck, okay. It's my mistake for trying to parry these types of enemies, really. I mean, listen, we might as well try the Abyss now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I, I had doubts for a tiny bit there. Let's do it. It's my one chance to get like a good weapon. Oh fuck. Are you serious? Oh no. Are you kidding me? Alright. I think... I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna peace out. Yeah, um... Huh? Shit. That counts as a death. I guess if you warp out of a boss fight... Well, whatever. It's not the end of the world, but... I'll take one, um, death. I would've died anyways, like... Or, if we would have been, like, the next three episodes would have been just me fighting this dragon, like, that would be ridiculous. So, apparently, the Abyss bosses are completely random. Because I was gonna say, I was wondering if they're scaled as well. So, like, early on you would have earlier, like, easier Abyss enemies. Apparently, that ain't the case. That ain't the case. You get no mercy. Cool. Well, I don't know what would need to happen for me to be able to take on that boss. Get like a godlike weapon. Listen, we might as well explore a little bit. So it was my plan from the start anyways. Although it doesn't look like there are too many items there. What the... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I see what it is. I was like, what the hell is that? What is that weird eye monster which doesn't make any sense at all from Lost Isolith? That's also an area we've not yet had, Lost Isolith. I feel like I'm getting the demon ruins in every single one of these playthroughs. But not Isolith. And I don't mind. This thing is so weird. 
They were definitely stoned when they came up with this enemy. 100%. They were on that good weed when they thought of this thing. <laughs> straw humbust. I like me some straw humbust. It's acid surge. It's gonna have literally zero uses. Appreciate the description. So anyways, yeah, on the other front, the other side of things, uh, yesterday, because I'm recording this live, almost live, I finished the... Okay, it's worse in every single way. I finished the Bloodborne stream, the Castlevania challenge. You guys seem to really like it. Um, that was a fun stream. I had fun as well. Really enjoyed playing some Bloodborne. It's a classic. And this... And I was doing really well too. Without, you know, tooting my own horn. People who were there can back me up on this. That I was on fire. Second try Maria... Uh, I think third try on Orphan of Cause. Fuck. Fuck you. I had hope I was gonna survive. Okay, this is not... this is not going well. Two deaths already. Compared to apparently today, where I seem to be not as on fire, although... The two deaths I had so far were not really like, you know, under my control. So yeah, yesterday's Bloodborne was sick as hell and I'm actually like fired up on streaming. Uh, Monday I'm gonna start my new playthrough, Monday as in tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing um, Dark Souls 2. I forgot for a second. Forgot why I came up with. Say so yeah, Dark Souls 2, but it's gonna be like a Dark Souls 2 and chill type run. As in, no crazy challenges, no anything like that. I'm just gonna... I forgot about the shit. I'm just gonna play Dark Souls 2. Because here's the deal. God, I thought he grabbed him. Where did you come from? Fucking hell. <sighs> this is really not going well. It really ain't. What if I what if we do a quick restart? Well, okay, we're not that bad on time. I think Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna, yeah, cool. Maybe the cleric is not the best idea. Hunter? We haven't used the hunter, I think. Holy shit. Well, it's not even night time. Um, yeah, we haven't used the hunter, have we? So, yeah, it's gonna be like a chill type playthrough. Nothing, nothing even vaguely challenge run-ish. Main reason is that I haven't played Dark Souls 2 normally in a very, very long time. I always do challenges. I don't really play the Souls, not the Souls games, but I, Dark Souls 2, I don't really... Okay, that's a wonderful start. I only play Dark Souls 2 um, outside of streaming. And I'm itching to play that game, you know, just normally, normally. So it should be fun, I think. I don't have a clue on the build yet, but it's definitely gonna be something like 
Dark Souls 2 exclusive, if you know what I mean. Probably hexing. Because... I'm just thinking we might as well use, you know, the unique aspects of that game. And hexing is one of those. I'll figure out where, where to put my bonfire. I don't know yet. Gotta gotta remember that I'm not in Bloodborne. I can't just like panic dodge away from everything. Although the temptation is there, you know. I can definitely tell that the enemies are getting more varied, which is cool. Like, we didn't have this variety of dudes before. I was gonna say that's definitely gonna hit me. Okay, are you shooting into the ground? I'll take that. Oh shit, it's him. Fuck, I aggroed him by accident. Listen, can't we just like make peace? Sorry. Fuck. I didn't even... I should have paid more attention. Hopefully that's not permanent. They get a sick catalyst out of it, which is not going to be useful at all. God damn. <laughs> okay, are these guys getting faster too? That dude's like... Gone to plaid. He's, he's going to die like... When I'm at the boss, that's when I'm going to get the souls from that dude. I just thought. Use your unique strengths. Okay, I think he's gonna win that battle. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop trying to do that. Where the fuck are all of you coming from? But that does look like a nice bonfire room. God, I'm, I'm, I'm so in the Bloodborne mood. I can definitely tell because I keep spamming the attack button. Just like, you know. And I'm like, fuck, why, why am I running out of stamina? Shouldn't be happening. But, you know, that's what Bloodborne does to you. Probably we should just go, go and... Oh, hello! What? Ornstein? Jesus, his light speed as well. It's a lot of HP too. This is gonna be like a thing now, we're just gonna have like random bosses appear. Cause we had the, the gargoyle appear like every single time. Is it gonna be switched to Ornstein? This will better at least like drop something good. I can see he's, he's like glitching a tiny bit. Alright, fuck you. I don't even think about that. Weapon? Refined Ember, that's okay. I got that, I think. Just by nature, I should go for like a quality build. So, go for the refined 
and we're balanced stats and all that shit. Ouch. This guy has very interesting casting patterns. Okay, please just don't just don't be a mimic. Can you just like not be a mimic? Thank you. It happens rarely that one of these is a mimic. Hey, another I guess the game is really telling me that refined is the way to go. Might as well be like winking at me over and over. And yeah, I was gonna say this, I didn't say that at the start. I'm gonna go through this place normally and we'll see. We'll see if we can pick up anything useful. Oh fuck, I hate these guys. They always show up at the worst places. They have a lot of HP too. Stamina, come on, come back. Some I keep hitting the ground as well. God, I need to get a weapon. Like ASAP. Because the damage is a little bit bonk and I'm about to fucking die. I mean, that was... I'm gonna be honest with you, that was only half accidental I kinda kinda was looking to drop down because fuck that noise yeah these guys there's never a time where they don't show up in the worst place the question is should I go back in here upstairs I am not what? Maybe I'm... Wait, how does this area... No, this is the way, right? Yeah, yeah. As you can probably tell, although maybe it's not a surprise, I don't... I don't go through this area frequently. So I'm not exactly in the know a lot of the times as to what the fuck is going on here. This is the other favorite enemy of this mod. Cool. Okay, interestingly this still works. Um... I'm a little bit concerned with going down there. Interesting. This thing sucks. Well, usually these weapons are not bad. Fucking hell, jump attack. It's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Ouch. Luckily, I can get back there fairly easily, I'd say. Yeah, this mod does get more difficult every single playthrough, for sure. Um, I can definitely tell. Okay, I didn't think so many of you would follow and so many of you would survive. Cool. Motherfuck, aggro range. Why am I even trying to parry this thing? There's no way in hell. Okay, before we do anything.
souls are precious at this stage of the game, so... You know. Might as well make every effort. I'm getting hella humanities though, interestingly. Please fall off. He ain't even gonna die if he falls off, right? I don't think so. Ha! Eat shit, bitch. I can heal too. Brigbreer armor. My favorite. Okay. Prigbreer armor, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit. Um, I can appreciate you, you might be good, but we need to level up first before we do anything with you. I was gonna say anyways that we definitely need more stamina. It's like the number one, oh fuck. The number one priority right now. Shit. My timing. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it straight up teleports forward. Teleports behind you? It could happen. Alright. You got a big ass fucking shield, which I'm never gonna use. Don't be a mimic. I'm always gonna be thinking of that from now on. It is like mimic central. What up? They kind of fucked you with that positioning, didn't you? But I also missed that on a chest. Which is a little bit more unfortunate. Oh, So whatever combination of enemies here is pretty terrible. Because um, you don't really have the bone wheels here, but this ain't that much better. Okay. Maybe it's slightly better. Oh, maybe it's not. Getting like, fired upon by a vagrant. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Rock. And I ain't talking Dwayne. That was the worst. That was the low point of this episode. Me making that joke. Okay, hitbox. Okay, I'm gonna have, like, no Estus. See, but the thing is, if I'm smart, I should go back because... Of the amount of souls I have. I think I'm gonna do that. I got this far by playing smart, I think. Or at least trying to. I'm gonna go in and look at the place where the vagrant came from, just in case of any treasure. And then we'll warp back. And then it's easy enough to get over here. Mm. 
What the fuck? Seriously. It's very chaotic. Damn, he's like rapid firing that shit. Do you see that? That was absolutely crazy. I shouldn't push my luck. What did I say about playing smart? I don't think there's even any treasure in here. This guy's normal speed too, right? Or maybe not. No, he's not. Yeah, this just leads back there. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the dealio. Um, let's go ahead and trade. how it's gonna be I want that armor piece I really want that armor piece plus I can feel myself being like like kind of lacking in endurance so this should be a, a good bow good boost hell yeah Come on, prick breer. How heavy is this thing? Are you fucking serious? Holy shit. It's 17. Okay, it's 17 units. That's the problem. Alright then. I'm gonna be fully honest with you guys. I'll end the episode here. First of all, we're out of time. Other thing, I gotta go take a poop. So, what can you do? I'll end it here. See you in two days. Streams in between. Peace out. Goodbye.